all righty we are officially down at the lake had to go down the long narrow driveway leading down to the lake this place is absolutely beautiful in my opinion little pond tucked back out here in the woods and uh we got the native titan x got the nt300 motor on the back and uh, we're going to slide this thing off get this thing into the lake real quick it should be almost spawning temperatures in this lake we might be a week or two early but these fish should be munching pretty good so let's go ahead and slide this kayak in get you guys a little pov on the water try the ye old hoe up in there in that creek see if we can get a bias to come out all right just getting in the kayak got to figure out what i'm gonna do with the paddle Are you kidding me, dude? Well, whenever I break my line like that, I try to just look at it as a sign from God that it was better to do that on a stump or whatever it was than a 10 pound bass. And I'm gonna look at it as a big bass is gonna bite today. And that was his way of protecting me from, I'd rather, I'd rather lose a lure then have a giant basket off so let's go ahead and we're going to try a spinnerbait today spinnerbaits are underrated and underthrown and in the spring when bass are spawning they really hate bluegill and this thing kind of looks like a bluegill getting close to their bed got some 15 pound fluoro on it and uh we're retied officially Little butt. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Spinner baits in the spring, guys. Completely undervalued. He was up close to that bank hugging it. That's where they should be been throwing out though and not really any luck that's ought to be a that's ought to be a bass right here close to the bank run that spinnerbait right up to the top almost like a buzz bait blah 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 just like that i'm going to show you guys how i like to throw a spinnerbait in the spring the bass are spawning getting close to moving up on beds i use a double colorado Looks a little bit more like a bluegill. Cast it out. I get it right close to the surface of the water. I'm talking about, I like waves coming off the spinner bait. I run it up, get a little gurgle, just like a buzz bait, and run that thing close to the edge of the bank. There we go. Running it right on top. <clears throat> Don't sleep on the spinner bait this spring. I'm telling y'all. Thing is deadly, deadly bait. Run it. There it is. That's a good one. <sighs> That's a thick boy right there. Popped it right off the edge of the bank. All right, let's get a release on this bad girl. Blop. All right, well, hopefully these dogs don't ruin what I got going. But we're putting that bait on the bank. So we're taking that spinner bait. Oh, that was not even close enough. We need to get literally touching the grass on the cast. 
and they're literally just sitting on the bank waiting on some fish to feed let's get closer ooh, ooh. Ah, it's perfect it's perfect what i tell you what i tell you Spinner bait is killing them. All right, let me bend them blades down. We're gonna keep casting. We don't wanna scare them off just yet. There's more fish to be caught right here. So look, right on the edge of the bank. Watch, watch. Come on now. I know there's some big ones that hang right here. Ah, skip that one. Let's throw it into this rock. This ought to be a guaranteed bite. A point, drop off. That's a good one, good fish. Gosh. Ah. Hoo hoo hoo. Smoked him, probably about a four pounder. I gotta ease out of here so I don't scare any more fish, but I mean, look at that guys. Straight whacking chunks. See, the problem is everybody and their mama throws chatter baits in the spring. Cause that's all everyone throws now, but a spinner bait is just slept on. Chunk. We have the most slept on bait in 2024 bass fishing because of live scope because of chatter baits a bunch of other reasons a lot of people don't throw spinner baits anymore i'm scared of an absolute giant slamming this thing that's pretty bad when you're actually scared of a giant bass slamming your bait because that's just how good it works i guaranteed seven plus pounders love these things oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my gosh Oh my gosh, this could be a huge bass. Gosh. What did I say? Guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, I caught it, didn't I? I said, I'm absolutely terrified. A giant bass is gonna bite. That thing's every bit of eight pounds. What an absolute freak. Seven pounds, 11 ounces. It was close to pushing that eight pound mark. I hope we got spectacular videos of the 7-Eleven on the most underrated spring bait. This is the biggest fish I've caught this year. What a freak, guys. We're gonna get a release on this fish. You ready to go, girl? Yeah, she's ready. Whew. That was, uh, that was an incredible experience right there. Well, Let's get back on them, guys. Let's throw the bait that everyone doesn't throw anymore. The old spinner bait. I'm gonna try it off the end of the point one more time. I tried to get as close as I could to where I caught her because she's probably getting ready to spawn. So I didn't want to move her too far away. That was crazy, guys. Like I saw her coming behind it. I'm gonna show you guys what happened. I'm gonna throw a jerk bait over here later. So, you can't see, but there's this underwater rock right here. And I pulled it over that rock. She was on the other side of it. And I'm talking about just 
demolished it, man. That was a huge bass. Big, big bass. Come on, bassy, bassy. Is there a double digit in here? Like, I've caught a few seven and a halfs and eights. I want to get a double digit. There's a fish up in there popping. Watch. I don't think I got close enough. See if I can angle this cast right. There he was. <laughs> I told y'all he was in there. He's a little bitty. All right, we're getting back into some more hot spots, keeping it close to the bank. I mean, hugging it, hugging that bank line. Live scopers would absolutely hate what I'm doing right now. Hugging a bank line, you mean bank beating? Bank beating work works sometimes. Little booger, what the heck? That thing was little bitty. If there ain't a fish in this dip, I don't know how to fish. There it is. Ain't a big one, but right where he should have been. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Another good one. Not a mega. We're spooled at this point. We're over here like, if it ain't a seven plus, I don't want it. Give me a seven plus. There we go, come on now. Oh, he got off. I think we need a new trailer on this bad boy. Fish tearing it up, boy. That little booger fight himself out. Another one bites the dust. And another one down. Alright, so we're just going to do a little run test with the motor. Let's get this motor going. The motor works pretty good. Turning with the rudder, this is full sharp as I can do. So turning's not so good. Sometimes if you slow down, right when you turn the motor off, you can kind of steer, but things still don't want to steer too good. We got to get this bad boy up on the bank. Ugh. 
Ah. That was one of the best days kayak fishing I've had in quite a while. A bunch of four pounders, seven pounds, 11 ounces for the biggest one. Got to test out the new motor, the new Native Titan X. I absolutely love this thing. It is heavy. It doesn't turn too great with the rudder, but I mean, it'll get you what you need to do if you guys want to do it that way. Got the Newport NK300. This is a three horsepower electric motor, 36 volt battery up under the seat. I have a discount code for both. You can use the code Georgia, save 10% if you guys are wanting one of these electric motors to go on the back or a battery. They sell them both, but we're going to go ahead and get this kayak loaded up back on the truck, headed to the house. But hopefully you guys learned a little something on the best spring bait, spring bait on the market that literally no one's using. So pretty much all I ever see anyone throw now is chatter baits, thunder crickets, great baits. They all have their time and a place, but I'm telling you the springtime bite for a spinner bait is absolutely phenomenal so i got a lot of loading to do so until the next episode hope you guys enjoyed it gonna go fishing with luke aka west georgia sportsman tomorrow maybe we can get a giant his dad caught a nine pounder out there yesterday so see you guys on the next video